Hey everyone, here we are again. Stained woodwork. Came out pretty good. It's still drying. Might apply more stain depending how dark I want to get it. These are the plinths. That's actually after one coat of stain. They turned out really dark. They're actually pine. Works as new oak with the same stain. And the same application camera makes this look like really light it's actually pretty dark I don't know why the camera does that but another thing prepping the jam for these see how nice and clean this is now compared to that stuff you can actually feel with your finger going all the way down it's not very clean at all so when you put your jam extension on there it's not going to sit flush. And when you have that, you have the chance of seeing this white line when the door is closed, your eyes probably going to be drawn to that white line because the black's going to set it off. Or I mean the black, the wood's going to set it off. So all that's got to be removed. And that's what you have over here. You're probably asking how I got that down there. It wasn't with the heat gun or anything else. You can see the chips on the floor. I did it with my trusty three-quarter stage. Three-quarter deal. So, can't think right now. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why. I can't come up with the name of it, but I got this. I've been using them for years, and it makes it easy to get in here and See if I can do this on camera without digging into the wood. Anyway, I just, I, here, let me switch hands. I'm better with it at the other, with the other hand. My chisel, there you go. look at it while I'm doing it. Anyway, it comes th through and gets everything flat and erases that paint off that jam. Some of the stuff like this this chunk here, you're going to have to dig out. Sorry for the bad camera work. This is difficult to do both at the same time. But anyway, you get the idea. It just knocks the paint right off with a little effort. And basically, I'm not, as you see there, I'm not putting it directly into the wood like this. I'm more skimming the wood like that. So I'm only, you know, pretty steeping, or pretty gentle incline there. Or steeping, or whatever you want to call it. That's what it'd be, chip steeping. Sorry, it's late. And, uh, you go up the whole jam with it, and you end up with a thing like this, which is perfectly flat. I'll probably still sand it just a little bit, not much, but it'll look good against there. And you don't have this white line where the two meet, so when I go to strip the internal jam, um, I don't have to worry about going around the corner like... that. I'm going to do the same thing here. Because that's what you're seeing is you're seeing the reveal. But since the new jam extension going on, it bumps out the jam half an inch and then uh, it's just got, it's got to sit level to look right. Yeah, got all these done. These are the uh, pin pockets for the, the hinges so when you poke a pin out it has room to go beforehand I had it to where it ended up here and the hinges fit fine looked really good but then you wouldn't be able to take the, the hinge pin out so you had to build these pockets and then uh, 
I know this looks more pumpkin me. Really, in the in depending on the light, it switches. So it gets crazy. And actually, line it actually will match if you get it in the right light. I don't know if it'll show it on the computer, but to the eye, the naked eye, it looks like it matches. Like there kind of does too. It's interesting. It's the same stain we used up here. So you have the idea. Anyway, that's all I have for today. And stay safe and rate, comment, subscribe. Treat your house nice.